Hey guys, so in this video, we are going to discuss about reversible and irreversible process, types of irreversibility. We'll also touch a little bit about quasi-static process because which is really important, right? So quasi-static process is really important for us to understand, right? In before studying this reversible and irreversible process. So what is quasi-static process? Let's understand that. But so let me write down quasi static process all right now infinite slowness is the characteristics of quasi static process just remember this term if you write this definition if you are studying in university you are going to get almost full marks right but I'm not here to tell you only definition. I'm here to make you understand what is happening in this process so that we can figure out how this process is related to these processes, right? So in order to understand right way regarding quasi process, we have to draw a PV diagram. So we have different states, right? And all these different states are in equilibrium equilibrium right and here we are talking about thermodynamic equilibrium when we are talking about thermodynamic equilibrium there are three equilibriums must be existed thermal chemical and mechanical now if any curve or line generated by joining equilibrium states is known as what quasi static process so let's say this one is state one is state two is state three and state four is state five all these states are in equilibrium and we are getting this line or you can say curve also this process is known as what is known as quasitic process now here one important thing we are getting infinite slowness infinite infinite slowness okay if we will add another thing that is what without friction without friction then we say the process is reversible process if there is a process it is happening with infinite slowness without friction that is what reversible process now if we want to draw reversible process is also known as what ideal process right an irreversible process is also known as natural process natural process so any process happening around you all processes are natural process or you can say that irreversible process right so let me just draw PV diagram let's say we are going from state 1 to state 2 if it is reversible process right if there is reversible process then its forward path and backward path will be what same right then it is also known as what reversible process if we can want to understand practically what is reversible process right any process happening right from initial to end of the process initiation to end of the process it will not leave any kind of evidence you can say that zero evidence so that we can prove that process occurred that process is known as what reversible process such type of process cannot happen in real life but theoretically we are studying because of this process we got amazing cycle by using the concept of that cycle we are getting very good mileage by cars you are right study or not you use this concept right or you can say that study or not get the concept of carnot cycle carnot cycle because of this process study cannot got the concept of carnot cycle or he uh, he ha he had given us this uh, carnot cycle because of what reversible process 
there are also reversible process processes uh, are happening for processor there i hope you have understood about that if you not let me know i will try to make you understand that one also so so far i hope you understand what is reversible process in examination you can write down definition like this any process which is happening with infinite slowness without friction is known as what reversible process you can also write like this any process which forward and backward path same uh, path are same is known as what is known as reversible process now let me take you to this what irreversible process it is important for us to understand right as i told you any process happening around us even we are doing anything that is what irreversible process but we have to write it with little technical language so that uh, you know you will be considered as an engineer only and only if you will talk about in engineering language right so any process happening any process happening because of finite gradient finite gradient right that is what known as irreversible process or you can say that any process which forward and backward path are not same is known as what irreversible process now let's understand little bit deeper into it right what is the meaning of gradient so here we have two terms temperature difference it can happen because of temperature difference as well as or pressure difference you can say that so i am sure many of you heard this temperature gradient what is the meaning of this why we are saying as gradient i will make you understand this practically so let's we have a body this side of the body temperature is 90 degree centigrade and this side of the body temperature is 20 degree centigrade it is made of steel that means it is good conductor of it is made of steel that means it is good conductor of heat now what will happen according to second law the temperature will flow from higher temperature to lower temperature and after some time it will become equilibrium to understand direction to understand direction and rate we consider this temperature gradient not difference temperature gradient that we write as dt by dx well if you have studied heat and mass transfer or even heat transfer in mechanical engineering in chemical engineering then you must have heard about this q is equal to minus k a dt upon dx and this dt upon dx is known as what temperature gradient we can under what example i have given from heat and mass transfer only well there is one big difference between hmt that is heat and mass transfer and thermodynamics in thermodynamics we do not consider temp uh, time but in uh, hmt we do consider time that is why whenever we will solve numerical problem in thermodynamics you will see the unit in joule not in joule per second but whenever you will solve numerical problem in hmt we will see joule per second the unit of work done and uh, the unit will be what what joule per second of what both are same got my point now let's come back to the topic irreversibility so we are getting reverse irreversible process from here we're getting irreversibility so there are two types of irreversibility right one is internal irreversibility another one is what external irreversibility the two types of irreversibility one is internal another one is external very simple just listen to me carefully internal reversibility happening because of friction dissipating effect friction is one of the dissipating effect turbulence resistance etc right so it is happening because of friction resistance turbulence okay now external reversibility external irreversibility it is happening because of finite difference finite temperature difference or finite pressure difference right but here is the catch here is the catch how it is happening pressure or temperature it can be internal but 
दिस इज एग्जैक्टली नॉट राइट विच वन इज करेक्ट फॉर एक्सटर्नल रिवर्सिबिलिटी लेट मी टेल यू फॉर दैट वी हैव टू अगेन ड्रॉ सिस्टम लेट से दिस इज सिस्टम दिस इज बाउंड्री एंड दिस इज सराउंडिंग वेन एवर देर इज हिट इंट्रक्शन हिट एंड वर्क और वर्क इंट्रक्शन बिटवीन सिस्टम एंड सराउंडिंग दैट मीन्स एक्रॉस बाउंड्री बिकॉज ऑफ प्रेशर डिफरेंस और टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस और यू कैन से दैट ऑल्सो राइट और यू कैन से दैट ऑल्सो हिट एंड वर्क इंट्रक्शन बिटवीन सिस्टम एंड सराउंडिंग एक्रॉस द बाउंड्री राइट दैट इज नोन एज वर्ड एक्सटर्नल इरावर्सिबिलिटी राइट सो इट कैन कम अंडर प्रेशर डिफरेंस और टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस बट दैट इज नोन एज वर्ड एक्सटर्नल इरावर्सिबिलिटी राइट so i hope you understand this topic in our next topic we'll uh, study about something else i will teach you thank you very much for watching this video like share and subscribe thank you very much god bless you all